Hello everyone, today is the 9th of September. Around this time of year, as the seasons turn, there's a verse that always comes into my mind. It's from the early stages of the book of Jeremiah and it says, the harvest is past, the summer has ended, and we are not yet saved. It's very poetic. Most years, for me, it captures that sense of sadness that many of us feel as summer slips away. The dark nights are not far off and we are somehow unsettled and discontented. Things are not as we want them. But what does Jeremiah mean by saved here? Well, he means rescued and delivered, set free from problems and pain so that life is more worth living, fuller, better, more just and satisfying. This year, by this definition, we are definitely not saved. Coronavirus has seen to that. At its root, for people like Jeremiah, brought up in the traditions of ancient Israel, picturing salvation grew out of and was governed by their memory of liberation from slavery in Egypt. This was the time God rescued and delivered big time, turning things around for the whole people. This was the heart of salvation. It gave the model, the pattern, the lens, the very best example anyone could imagine for understanding what saved was all about. So, at the smaller, more down-to-earth, everyday level, when something went wrong but then got put right, that was a type of salvation. When you had a dreaded skin disease and it got better, you were saved. When you were blind and had your sight restored, you experienced salvation. When you were deaf and then heard, you knew you were saved when you were crippled and then you were able to walk like a deer on the mountains this too was a type of salvation salvation moves the dial from hurt to healing from damage to restoration from death to life and get this as time went on israelites some at least began to glimpse that salvation was not only for them, but for all people. Naaman, the enemy general, encountered salvation. So did the widow of Zarephath. Those stories made a big impression on Jesus. He used them very forcefully against narrow-minded people in his very first sermon to try to get them to shift their perspective on salvation and inclusion. That should make us stop and think, sit up and listen with our hearts as well as our ears. For what it tells us is that God is active in our world beyond the boundaries of our understanding, bringing signs of salvation to unusual people in unexpected ways. Amos knew this. In his day, he envisaged salvation, understood as Exodus-like activity, for all sorts of people, from way up north in Syria to way down south in Ethiopia, as well as near at hand, just across the border among the Philistines. From time to time, we may feel that the harvest is past, the summer has ended, and we are not yet saved. We may feel disappointed and discouraged in ourselves as well as in the state of the world. Things being put right for individuals and society appear a long way off. This can be dispiriting. However, think about this. While we can't save ourselves or other people, because only God can do that, in different ways, by our actions and by our attitudes, we can help people experience, perhaps for the first time, what a little touch of salvation feels like in their everyday lives. 
by coming alongside those in need by our kindness we can play a part introducing people to the reality and the story of salvation we can join god for god is already at work and that is no small thing before i finish tonight let me just tell you that our first service back in church last Sunday went well, even if aspects of it were different and strange. If you are thinking of attending this Sunday, let me encourage you to do that. But please, contact Gavin Henry by text, phone call or email so that we know who is planning to come. Note also, that should we have more people than we can accommodate in church, the service will also be shown in the church hall. The harvest is past, the summer has ended, and we are not saved. True, but not the whole story. God is at work in our lives and in the life of the world to rescue and to deliver on the journey to the fullness of salvation. God bless. Bye for now.